In this video, we will learn how to troubleshoot and resolve an unhealthy load balancer backend. Google Cloud offers a variety of load balancing options, such as HTTP proxy load balancing, TCP SSL proxy load balancing, and even TCP UDP pass-through load balancing. Troubleshooting load balancer backends uses the same methodology irrespective of the load balancer type. Before diving into troubleshooting an unhealthy backend, Let's understand some concepts. First up, what does an unhealthy backend mean? It means the health check probes configured on the load balancer to the backend are failing. So, what are health check probes? Health checks are tests that enable load balancers to confirm if the backend is available to serve traffic or not. Connection requests are sent to backends on a configurable, periodic basis. Each connection attempt is called a probe. Google Cloud records the success or failure of each probe and marks the backends as healthy or unhealthy. Let's now understand what is the success criteria for health checks. Google Cloud supports several protocols for the health check, like TCP, HTTP, HTTPS, gRPC. The success criteria for health checks varies depending on the protocol being used. For TCP, the health check probe needs to successfully establish a TCP connection with the backend on the specified port. While for HTTP and HTTPS, the health check probe needs to successfully receive a 200 HTTP response from the backend on the specified URL. We'll now dive into a demo to learn how to troubleshoot and resolve an unhealthy backend. In the Google Cloud Console, go to Network Services, Load Balancing page, and click on your load balancer. In our example, we will select Web Map HTTP. As we can see, it has an unhealthy backend. Looking at its health check, we see the health check is using HTTP protocol and probing on port 80. If your health check port mentions serving port, then the port being health checked is a network endpoint group or NEG port. The load balancer has marked the backend as unhealthy possibly due to a lack of response for the HTTP probe from the backend. To investigate this further, let's SSH into the unhealthy backend and verify if a process is listening on the configured health check port by using the netstat command. There you go, the process listens on this port. If you don't have netstat, you can try using netcat as follows. If a process is listening, it will show an output similar to this. If not, it will show connection refused. We've successfully found that there is a process listening on the health check port. Next step is to create a health check probe and see if it is successful or not. In this example, we're using HTTP protocol, so we can test the health check by running the curl command. We're getting a 200 OK response. This indicates that the health check probes are successfully passing locally on the backend instance. However, the health check probes from load balancer are failing. This could most likely be due to a firewall misconfiguration. One of the ways to verify firewalls are properly configured is to use TCP dump and capture packets. First, determine the health check source ranges which the probes will be using for your load balancer type. You can find this information from this documentation. You can install TCP dump using a package management system like apt. Capture the packets received from the health check ranges by running this command on the unhealthy backend. Hmm, there are no incoming packets. This clearly indicates that the firewall is not configured to allow ingress from the health check probe ranges to the health check port. Perhaps getting blocked in the implicit block all ingress firewall rule. To fix this issue, create the firewall rule to ensure that the traffic is allowed from the health check probe ranges to the health check port. First, let's go back to the console and go to VPC network, firewall, create firewall rule. Allow ingress to your backends by specifying their targets, tags, service accounts, or just all instances in the network. Configure the source ranges to the health check ranges used for load balancer type you're using. This is an HTTP load balancer, so I'll use these two ranges. If 
Phew, we're now seeing coming packets from the health check ranges. Go back to load balancer page. Congratulations, the backend is now healthy. For more information on troubleshooting unhealthy backends, check out this documentation. Thanks for watching.